Hi everyone, this is Brendan here and welcome to my next episode, day 6 of my Let's Clash series. So the first building that I upgraded today was the army camp and then after that I proceeded on into getting some national flags again to just stock up for my next town hall level, to stock up some gold for the next town hall level as uh, what I did in the previous episode. So um, as you can see now, I'm just continuing uh, finding for a raid because I wanted to go and stock up some uh, resources. So doing a nix and then eventually I found this Town Hall 8. So it's not too difficult to find a high resource basis at uh, this particular league. And I've also read through the comments that some of you guys are saying that uh, you guys should drop to Silver League to try to farm. However, I did talk about loot penalty whereby if you are higher Town Hall level than the Town Hall level that you are fighting against, then there's a chance that you might not find the loot that I'm actually uh, finding for because I'm actually a uh, Town Hall 5 only. So if say you are Town Hall 10 and you were to find this Town Hall 8, you won't see uh, the amount that you are looking at but you will see just half of it. You will only see like 100,000 gold or whatsoever. So there's something to take note of if you guys are actually planning to come down to Silver League just by watching all my uh, episodes so far and then thinking that coming down to Silver League is a very good idea to find all the loot because that's where you guys think that the loot are located at. But uh, that's not right because uh, if you are talking about like a uh, loot penalty and also the timing uh, of me finding for the raids are usually the times that is very nice uh, timing and of course there are also times where I take quite a while to find for a raid maybe even taking like uh, up to 5 to 10 minutes to find a, a base that's like around 100 over 1000 only so then this base appeared which was uh, like almost 300,000 gold so as you can see on the top right I did, didn't really need an elixir because it was almost uh, full as for gold I needed a lot and I wanted to stock up on my national flags again because I've used up all the national flags I've sold all of them and uh, converted them into the walls uh, upgrading the walls itself so getting the loot from this particular base as you can see I've gotten like all the loot especially when the loot are all inside the gold mines um, I don't think there's like a little or mu too much inside the gold storage itself so just ending the battle and getting like almost 300 over 1000 or more than 300 over 1000 uh, to be exact so getting another achievement done getting 10 more gems which is really nice so the next attack as you can see is 250,000 gold so um, yeah it's not too difficult to find bases uh, dead bases to be exact at this uh, particular league itself but there are also dead bases in gold league crystal league and in fact also in master league depending on what time you farm what time you actually do the search this and that so that's something to take note of too and of course it's not really recommended to farm at such a low league especially if you are like a town hall 9 or town hall 10 because of the loot bonus especially when now the loot bonus to me is like a few thousand only but if you were to farm say at crystal or even at master you get like a five digit loot bonuses um, up to even a six digit so that's something that i really enjoy when i farm at higher leagues especially when i farm in master 3 master 3 the loot is very high uh, if you are able to farm over there as a town hall 9 or 10 uh, please uh, go ahead and farm there but if you are a town hall 7 or town hall 8 i think it's recommended to farm like a low crystal or even at gold league uh, low crystal if you are able to withstand the attacks that come upon you and also uh, if you are skilled enough to win the race and not lose it definitely so uh, I did talk about trophies and leaks, what kind of leaks to go for in my farming uh, guide videos in uh, how to farm the fastest with BAM uh, however if you guys think that you guys are capable enough to go higher in trophies you can do so and also I did mention in the guide itself that if you guys want to farm in champions as a town hall 9 and a 10 then you guys have to bear the defenses which people will definitely go ahead and attack your base especially if you are town hall 9 without any infernal towers uh, people just see your base and just destroy your base so yeah back to the uh, video itself so now as you can see i've uh, gotten my spell factory uh, gotten it to the first level and uh, started to create my first spell lightning spell which i will probably use it next time not now because it's only level one so now this particular base, as you can see, it has appeared with 250,000 uh, resources again. It's a dead base, definitely, a Town Hall 7. So just continue the attack. So Town Hall 7, me uh, being a Town Hall 5, I see at 100% loot, uh, no penalty at all. So it's definitely nice to farm at such a low uh, Town Hall level. However, the troops that I'm using is like a level 2 Barbarian and level 2 Archers. So it's pretty hard to get the loot, especially for this particular base. 
and also the army camp the, the spaces is not a lot as compared to say a town hall 8 or town hall 9 so that's where i'm actually trying to go to to a uh, farm at the particular town hall level as mentioned before that uh, town hall 8 and 9 is the best town hall level to farm at, especially town hall 9 because your troops will be really strong and also you will have a kind of high amount of housing spaces to farm with 220 housing spaces to be exact so that's where i'm actually trying to get my account to so that i can farm really fast over there and just getting more national flags to prepare for my uh, next upcoming town hall level as uh, it will take roughly another three more days or so to get to the next town hall level and as you can see from this particular episode alone is uh, not as long as the previous one and also that i do not have uh, many upgrades to upgrade because uh, there ain't many stuff that i could do and also the walls they have already been maxed and i'm just uh, waiting for the next town hall level to be uh, available to me so that i can just continue to do more upgrades especially the those upgrades such as the war such as the defenses i'll focus on them soon uh so those of you guys who are still asking me to like max my base out before i proceed on to the next town hall level i already mentioned that it's not really a good idea because uh i've really maxed out my war so if i do not proceed on to the next level as mentioned before that the goal will over so i'd rather upgrade my town hall level to the next level so that I'll be able to upgrade the walls even more to the next level. Otherwise, the gold really will be wasted and just vanishing into thin air. So why don't you just take the opportunity, I mean, for me to just upgrade more of the walls rather than to let the gold go to waste. So as you can see now, this particular rate itself is rather high in a gold, 180,000 to be exact. And then uh, eventually, as you can see, I decided to focus more on the storages because the gold storages, they contain most of the gold. But uh, there are some of them in the gold mine too. So as you can see on the left and the right, the left side, the archers are now shooting over the wall, getting the gold storage, uh, getting the gold that I need. And then after that, on the right, the gold storage has already gone down. And then after that, uh, just shooting over the walls, the archers getting the gold storage, eventually uh, getting it down. And then after that, I deployed some troops at the bottom trying to take out the gold mines because there was still a little bit more resources inside. And then uh, scoring us... Uh, 50% as of now and then after that getting us the one star just continue getting some more of the gold from the gold mine itself and eventually once all the gold mines have gone down I decided to end the battle securing me the one star 55% so back to our base I decided to remove one trunk unfortunately there weren't any gems inside and then after that I went to upgrade my barrack and the barrack I wanted to get to level 4 so that I could get the goblins and then after that, 4 hours later, I went to upgrade the barrack once more to level 5 to try to unlock wall breakers. Not so much that I want to use them, but I just want to prepare them so that I could research them. Because if I do not uh, unlock them from the barracks, I won't be able to research them. So that's something I'm actually working on. Because eventually I'm planning to use a Goiwi or Goiwi-White to try to attack. And eventually I need to use wall breakers. So just getting more uh, decorations, the flex, to just prepare for my next town hall level. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this episode and clash on.